Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Welcome to the ZX Spectrum versus Commodore 64 comparison video, as I like to call it, Playground Wars. We are still on a Durrell software kick, because I forgot how much I love these guys. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at Thanatos uh, on said machines. It was released in 1986. It was also released on the Amstrad CPC. And I wanted to look at this one instead of one of the other ones that did kind of, you know, cool 3D effects, because they're also known for very, very detailed sprite-based games. And uh, in the case of this game sprites they were absolutely friggin huge like one third the length of the screen this game got absolutely fantastic reviews i've never played it on the commodore 64 i have played it on the spectrum and on the commodore 64 it has music by absolute legend uh, Rob Hubbard. Anyway, let's get into it. So here's your screen once again. Uh, this computer set is sold. Blah 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 blah. Uh, if you know someone who maybe knocking them off, grass them up, will give you a proper game on a hundred quid. Does anyone know if anyone actually got that reward? I think it was pretty much impossible to prosecute people who pirated games in the 80s. I think I watched a documentary on it. Anyway, let's get into it. Now, what's good about this game? By the way, I, I, all the Spectrum magazines love this. But what's good about this game? is there's a 1 to 8K version. Now, this is 1986, so what's this, a year into the toast rack? So, um, why were there no 1 to 8K game versions of the other games, such as, like, uh, you know, the ones I previously played, such as um, Turbo Esprit? Because that would have been absolutely amazeballs. I'm pretty sure there was a 1 to 8K version of Saboteur 2, so maybe I'll do a comparison video of that as I have done a comparison video of the first Saboteur. So anyway, you are Thanatos, Thanatos the Destroyer, not to be confused with the Greek uh, legend version of Thanatos, or I think it's pronounced Thanatos, um, who's the personification of death. Although to be fair, you could argue that fuck off big dragon is pretty much a personification of, uh, personification I should say, of death. Right, anyway, in the story, you control Thanatos the Destroyer, and you have to rescue a sorceress, Eros, who's been imprisoned in a castle by an evil lord. Once you get her, you have to fly back across the water, uh, and she will get ingredients, get her to a cauldron, and she will cast a spell that will bring enlightenment to the country. Countryside. I'm not sure what that does, enlightenment. I mean, everyone can read, everyone gets educated, everyone gets a bachelor's degree or they can just understand the lyrics to Pink Floyd songs. I mean, that's pretty vague, but oh hum, it's the 80s. Now, you have heart, which I believe is health, and you have flame. You can use the flame to toast your enemies, but you need to keep your flame because once you go from the entire left to the right, you have to burn down the gates of the castle. I think I only got there once and I certainly didn't make it back. If you run out of flame, you can't do that. However, you recharge your flame by eating witches because of course. Anyway, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, I remember, I haven't played this in a couple of years, but I do remember the graphics on this being absolutely superb. And the music's all right. I've heard better AY chip um, goodness, but anyway, space, right. One, alter skill level, going weird. One. I like the fact that Jarrell gave you skill levels, uh, despite the fact that most of the games were balls hard, even on skill level one. View score table, four play, two, alter, playing keys two right uh Kempston joystick no thanks um fire tells you what it pre it is previously and we changed that to m up q down a o left p right z pause right um right let's get into it boom right uh heart bottom left looks a bit warped probably because i'm a dragon bottom right uh, and i'm sean connery i've just decided Bottom right is fire. If I press up, nothing happens. If I press forward, right, I can't fly. Uh, I think Numpty Brain's here. Um, didn't set the controls properly, or it still thinks it's somewhat on joystick. 
As always, I am a consummate professional. Right. Skip, 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 skip to the end. Try that again. Uh, two. Peggies. Um, Kevin's and joystick. No thanks. Um, fire. M. Up. Q. Down. A. O. Left. P. Right. Said pause. That's got to be it, surely. That's got to be it. Four. Play. Oh, awkward. <laughs> I'm flying immediately. Up. Goes up. Uh, I've got Thanatos in case you've got your name in the middle of the screen and your score is beneath it. Um, is it got a, a, a level of uh, like a little shield? I oh, know it got. Does it put blue around my character? Because uh, it doesn't seem to have any attribute clash. Fire, firing down, firing up, and I can walk. Look at the size of the sprite and look at the animation. Word of light music. Does that? I want to know what happens if I look. Is that parallax? Yeah, look, there's colour around a the sprite. There's a little bit of attribute clash, but you can see the black kind of around the wings and stuff. So, yeah, look at that. It's huge sprites. Uh, that's the same colour as me, so I guess they don't worry about it then. And that's in the foreground, and it's moving in front of the background, so there is parallax. What happens if I walk over this? Absolutely nothing. Moon in the top right, which does nothing, and we can fly. The animation is superb. Look how fast it goes, and look at the size of this beast! Dragon's pretty huge too. Oh, hello. Slow down. It absolutely pisses along. I forgot that it was that fast. Be on the lookout for witches. Oh, shit. That's the roof, isn't it? That's a bit harsh. I can't outrun that, but I can't... I don't think I can shoot that. I don't remember starting off in a cave. I remember... Oh, there we go. It is graphically impressive. Is this the drink? Nope. We're still on dry dry land. Lots of buildings. If that's the size of a building and I'm the size of this dragon... Oh, hang on. Oh, no, I was just going to say, fucking hell, he shoes you shit your pants. But look at this. Can't turn around. I can't fly backwards. It seems you have to get a slight run-up. Right, hang on. I want to... Toasty toasty. I like the fact that they will backtrack for you. And by that I mean I don't really because it's telling to take my health. But it is impressive they do. Look at that! Look at that. There are all kinds of tricks being done in this game right now. Uh, and, you know, with the graphics such as minimising attribute clash, the parallax, the way that path moved from right to left, you know, into the background. This is well impressive. Like that, look at that. Sound effects are alright. I would have liked um, some music in the game. Like I said, I didn't know there was a 128K version. I can't remember when I played this a few years ago whether there was. Look, Volcano. This is cool. I mean, if you like dragons, and who doesn't like dragons when you're 10? <laughs> oh, that's a C. Look, look at the little effect for the moon in the bottom right hand corner. Can I go into the drink? Yes. I'm a stealth sub. Look, check it out. Right, your health doesn't piss down as quickly as I thought it would do. Look at my jowls and my tongue. Awkward. The effects with the parallax and the background and the floor and stuff like that. They are tasty and delicious. I forgot how impressive this game was. I can see why it got, you know, the, the critical acclaim it did. Hang on. Oh, wait. Didn't know you could do that. Slow down. Turn around. I need you to turn around. How do I turn around? That would be the wall I have to burn down. Right, let's take a run up now, turn around. You press fire. That is awesome, Source. Right, let's land on the floor. Look how he gets his feet ready, the perch, and then when he lands, he kind of hobbles a bit. Pretty much like a bird of prey. Oh, shit balls. He does that automatically. Right, hang on. Stop. It's, my dragon was before ABS. Right, that's very red. But look at that! So there is kind of 3D. Am I burning it down? I don't know. Yes! That's awesome. Look at that! Come on, you're impressed. You can admit it. Right, there's a bit of attribute clash, but it's more so because of what they've done to minimise attribute clash. Is that, yep, yeah, there's 3D effect on the other side. I'm, well, Jarrell, I doff my hat to thee. 
You just were the kings of all kinds of bags of tricks. It'll be interesting to see what that looks like on the Commodore 64. Are we taking off? I need to eat some witches. But I've got a little bit far left, but not much. Right, keep going. No, I'm just legging it by the, the blokes. I guess my dragon's not as big as I thought he was. Don't get me wrong. I mean, even if you stand on there chucking spears at him, I'd still shit my pants. What is he the size of? Two, four transits? Look how I make size specific or relevant for all you people out there. In case you wondered how big the dragon was. And also, when I said you are Sean Connery, what's your original brave heart? The effects have aged a little bit, but it's Sean Connery as a dragon. It's absolutely amazeballs. Also, where are these witches I need to eat? They're like... They're like un oh balls. That was my. I just realised my heart was blue. They're like unleaded, but for dragons. Um, I love that Darrell. Let me type my name in properly. Well, not my name, but a name. Right, one and four. I'm assuming I don't have to redefine my controls. Look at his tongue. Awkward, but you know what I mean. Right. I want. Check on your brakes. I want to see what happens if I walk through here. Can I? Probably not. But you know. Explore the possibilities of gameplay. So I only noticed that my heart was blue. Uh, right before I died. So does it. Are there subtle colour changes? I just realised it's beating as well. Don't have time limit. Which suggests a, a good thing. Clearly here. In the caves you can see how they've minimised attribute clash. I mean it's still there. But you've only got to look at some other games doing one tenth of anything is damn near as impressive as this to say, well, that's damn near impressive. So, am I right in thinking? Oh, oh, this changes everything. That's oh, projectile. Projectile p potential. I don't know. The thing is, without these witches, which I don't know where they are, because um, I don't think I'm taking damage by doing this, everything in this game requires a lot of fire. We're going to stop. I wonder if I can pick people up. Hang on. You've got to let it scroll forward before it will let you take off, I think. And no, you just got to get a run up. Turn around. There we go. Turn around. There we go. Stop. Okay, that's a little awkward. Come on. Come on. I, I don't know how to pick shit up now. Do I just... Fly low? Toasty, toasty. Well, you can pick stiff, stiff stuff up. Oh, it smells of burning hair now. I just... Oh, look! I just don't know how to do it. Oh! Take off, take off, run. Run, boy, you're free now. You ain't... So, the exception of no in-game music, pretty much everything about this game is absolutely incredibly impressive. Amazing parallax, you know, free, pseudo 3D effects going on, uh, even though it's a side-scrolling game, you know, what with the way you see, uh, you know, the wall and stuff like that. All clever, smart stuff, lots of background, you know, stuff going on. The amazing animation and amazing size of sprites. And badass name, Thanatos. What more do you want? I can see why everyone lost their shit. I do remember seeing um, reviews for it, and I do remember seeing screenshots and the advert for it, and screenshots and, you know, the case and back of the case and stuff like that, because all Durrell games had awesome clamshells. Well, most of them had awesome clamshells um, with jewel cases. But, oh, but I don't ever really got a handle on how to play it. Will you land? Why is landing such a fucking effort? Down, 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 down. Right, there you go. So presumably you can only toast the door from the floor. And I don't mean to your health door, to your health. 
But that is a very cool trick. I'm sure a bunch of people know exactly what it is and can explain it. I'm just going to say it looks eye candy tastic. Also, it's a pretty big castle wall. Right. Oh, those toilet campfire smells. Said people in the background who didn't realise a fuck off big dragon was hit their gate. Oop, there we go. So, what's my heart say? Leg it, leg it, leg it. Oh, that's what my brain says. I mean, it's a little glitchy there. But again, think of the hardware it's running on. And it's 1986. I'm not sure. Oh. They got good range. So, it's all about getting a decent amount of height. I guess, working out, you know. What enemies, you know, deserve what? I guess response patterns? Oh. Well, I'm not going to lie, it's a pretty spare, a sparse castle. And that constant noise of my heart is getting on my tits. Because listen, pause. Still, still beating. I guess good to know you're not dead. Are you going to do that cheap trick where... You start raining shit on me. My heart's still red as well. My heart's still red. Oh, no, it's not. There you go. Oh, hang on. What was that? No, it wasn't a witch. Everything goes by so... Oh. Oh, hang on. They, uh... What are they... Oh, hang on. I don't know how to kill them. Look, boats and shit. And I'm just... There we go. Let's try that. Oh, hang on. Stuff. Okay. There's a lot of stuff going on. I don't remember this. I'm wondering if the other version I played was the 48k version. But there's a lot of stuff going on. Sea monsters and shit. Oh, hang on. Slow down. Oh, this is not good, is it? Well, there you go. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. I'm really, really, really impressed. Let's take a look at the Commodore 64 version. So here we go with Thanatos on the Commodore 64. Now, right off the bat, as you would expect, because it's by Rob uh, Hubbard and it's using the SID chip, the, while the music is in a similar vein to that of uh, the ZX Spectrum on the AY chip, obviously hearing them both, you would know that they are essentially the same tune. This is utterly fantastic. Pretty much, very much, in fact, uh, puts me in the mind of some sort of old school um, Ray Harryhausen stop animation dragon movie or dinosaur movie or, you know, Sinbad, stuff like that. It's just got that kind of epic, you know, orchestral vibe to it. Anyway, so same screen, all the skill, all the playing keys, view, score table, four play. Uh, it defaults to joystick, so let's get into it. Oh, I'm playing this on the C64 Mini, so there will be edits and stuff like that, so if you think the music fucks up, it's not. It's because I'm editing it, because I don't like the virtual keyboard on the screen. It kind of takes you out of it. Right. There we go. Uh, same screen set up. Bottom left, heart. Bottom right, dragon. Uh, dragon breath. Uh, Thanatos, my name, you've got the same sort of HUD, uh, and then above that, you've got, oh, below Thanatos, the name, you've got uh, just score, fire, fire up, fire down. We start over the sea, which is interesting. Can I land in the drink? Well, first things first, obviously, well, there's no music in game in this. I don't know, wonder if that could be changed, but first things first, your dragon is impressive. He's quite nicely um, animated, but he's not as big as the spectrum and not as well animated as the spectrum you wouldn't miss you know sorry you wouldn't you know mistake it for not being the same game that's a given but yeah I, I can tell you right now even though we're at the start I prefer the dragon on the spectrum plays the same way fly fast move forward dragon goes to back off screen wonder why we start over the drink in this one um, the well according to um, Wikipedia the story and game modes are exactly the same, or what you've got to do in the game, I should say. Uh, so, yeah, not sure why. Is that the end of the sea and we're on dry land? We're on dry land. There we go. There is some parallax going on. There are blokes on the floor. Can I pick up? No, I can't. There's a volcano as well. Um, 
Again, burning hair. Your dragon's just not as impressed. Look at his little... He looks like a Muppet, the way he walks with those legs. I'm waiting to see the performer underneath the ground, you know, yodering his ass. That sounded awkward. Again, you, you wouldn't mistake them for being the same game, clearly, but your dragon... I just quite a little bit... Wow, dragon's a bit... Yeah. Must be cold in here. Smooth scrolling and stuff like that, but immediately... I mean, oh look, now you got you got that cool effect. We're back over the um, the drink. Um, we haven't gone through a cave. Are there no caves? I mean, there's boats and stuff. There's just as much action, sort of, with opponents and stuff going on on the floor. But I haven't seen it so far, though. I mean, it's quite early. But I haven't seen any cool little visual tricks to kind of, you know, zone in that 3D and stuff like that. Is that something else that comes down to the speed of the processor? A lot of boats. A lot of boats. It's a Greek tragedy. Wrong battle toss. There you go. Oh! Bats. Lots of bats. That's new. None of that weird Mothra fucking shit that we had on the spectrum. Look at my heart already. And I'm gonna die. Am I gonna die? I can still move. That was really underwhelming. What? No explosion? Um, there doesn't seem to be any cool graphical trips, tricks going on on the bottom of the screen like there was on the Spectrum. I mean, there is that kind of, you know, passes from right to central to left of walls and stuff like that. But I, I want to get to the castle wall to see if I can see the cool 3D effect done there as well. But it appears that this is a lot bloody harder than the Spectrum. Um, right, um, do I have to write my name? Right, uh, four... I'm not going to say it this time. Right, well here's what I'm going to do. I wonder if you fly incredibly fast. I mean, I could have gone to World of Spectrum and actually read the in-game instructions, but I wonder if flying incredibly fast, which I would say doesn't seem to... Maybe it's because I'm over the sea. Um, doesn't seem to be flying that fast. It, like, put some sort of, uh, you know... Make you exert your heart. Which has got that weird drop-off thing on the right, so... I don't know, is that a dragon thing? Not familiar with dragons, you know. Not with them, or what with them not being real. Now, it appears that I can't get out the range of their weapons like I could on the Spectrum. It also appears that the blokes who are just throwing stones at me seem to be far more accurate than the blokes with arrows. Again, what do I know about the anatomy of and or hunting a dragon? But i got to say, this is just an observation. If I can get to the door, it would be nice. Um, and sea monsters and stuff. The, the floor itself doesn't, it doesn't seem to have the same level of attention and detail or pop quite like the ZX Spectrum. Just pop my toes then. I wonder if you could hear that. I would press pause to see if his heart's still beating, but I don't know what pause is. Right. Apologies for background noise. I never thought I'd be saying that on a, um, a Commodore 64 game. See, this to me seems a bit overkill. I mean... If you don't see a yellow explosion, does that mean I'm, I'm alright? This is too hard. This is way bloody hard. How the hell do you avoid that? Do I walk along the floor? We'll give it another go. I'm not liking how hard this is. It's not letting me see um, a lot. I should have looked at what reviews has got on the Commodore 64. Right, one more go. Right, so obviously we have to fast forward, stay in the air over the um, the drink, or we could come in nice and low, just in case radar has been invented. I'm assuming the same rules apply, which is eat a witch to replenish your fire, because of course, only, I mean, I didn't see a witch in my entire run on the spectrum. I haven't even got that far into it on this one. It's funny, because you go from being over the sea and nothing's really a threat to on land. And yeah, you know, there's a lot of people chucking rocks and sticks at you and stuff like that, which dwindles you. But once you get to those bats, I'm guessing they're bats, um, it's just a whole different ball game. Can I see what it looks like when I turn around? Oh, not as good as the Spectrum. I mean, it still looks, it just seems to go a bit too slow. Oh, but it does seem to confuse the archers. Apart from that one then who clearly shot me. It 
See, the problem here is I can't do a low attack and then just keep bash bashing them with fire. Because if I do, I, I land on the floor and stop all my momentum. And I can't seem to... I'm just guessing these boats are for background then. You know, just nice little graphical touch because I can't seem to do bugger all to them. Unless I'm like Smaug and I don't like flight fighting over water. Right, back on dry land, back on dry land. Okay. It's doing somewhat of a similar trick in places as it is on the spectrum. Even though Carmel is not really known for attribute clash, although we did see it in other Jarrell games. Why are you turning around? I don't like that. This game is too hard for its own good. I clearly am missing a trick, but then why would the gameplay differ from the Commodore 64 so much? But I can't get any further to show you any more uh, goodness. One last go. Thou hast done well, and to, and to hear thy name. I haven't, though, have I, really? Thanatos. Is there any other sort of approach I can take to it? I am going to sum up now, though, right? Graphically, your dragon's far more impressive on the Commodore 64. There is less attribute clash on the Commodore 64, but again, like you said, your dragon's bigger on the spectrum, he's better animated, he turns a lot quicker. Uh, the detail on the floor is definitely a lot better, but then, I mean, we can't even get, it's too brutally hard. You can't avoid half the, you know, the, the bad guys, such as that flock of, unless I'm missing something, by all means let me know and I might have another go, of bats that are attacking you. Um, I mean, is it making it that hard to length, lengthen, you know, the game as such? Because, look at me now. Oh, hang on. Do I recover? No, I don't. I'm dead already. Wow. Too hard for its own good. Better music, obviously. But I gotta say, uh, I give this to the Spectrum. Whole bunch of cool tricks in there I wasn't expecting. And not really the same tricks on this. Um, can't really get any further to see if there are, but I'm sure we would have seen them by now. And you've got to wonder why they've made it that relentlessly, brutally hard that you can consistently and only get into the same place. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think, especially if you played this on the Spectrum, the Amstrad, or, and or the, the Commodore 64, and am I clearly missing something, or is that just, you know, that's just how this version plays out, but I'm giving it to the Spectrum. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.